All righty, welcome back to the Crypto ZX channel to the XRP family. Appreciate each and every one of you guys for showing tremendous amount of love on uh, you know these updates. Uh, you know for taking your time out to watch the updates and of course you know comment and you know the comments have been absolutely overwhelming to see. Thank you. And without further ado, let's take a look at what's happening with XRP today and um, what we could be expecting going into Monday morning. Of course, you know, we are uh, halfway through the day of Sunday. You know, I apologize. I wasn't able to give you guys updates earlier. You know, just wanted to kind of relax. Sometimes it's good to relax, as I mentioned in my Cardano update as well, uh, because, you know, times like this can, you know, glue you to the screens. And I'm sure a lot of people watching right now can relate to that. Always refreshing, you know, what's happening with the price right now. Uh, sometimes it's just good to, you know, close the computer take some time off, and then come back. Looking across the board today though, remember Sundays over the weekends, we do tend to see more manipulation than usual due to CME futures being closed. XRP down about 4.7% on the daily time frame, but what we need to remember is the broader market uh, is actually down right now. So anyone that's going to come out and say, you know, XRP is going down, I want you to really, uh, you know, rethink that. Look at uh, the weekly time frame, and we're talking about the XRP price up 80%, uh, and you know that is quite substantial to say the least. And on the monthly time frame, it's up 93.1%. But let's take a closer look and see what is happening with the price of XRP, and of course, what is yet to come. But before I do that, as always, just a quick disclaimer: anything on this channel is not financial advice. Always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in cryptocurrency. So the price of XRP is currently sitting at a dollar and seven cents. And to be quite frank with you. In my opinion, XRP is holding really good. This is what you want to be seeing because remember, nothing is going to go up straight forever. I hate how people, uh, you know, think that the price is just going to skyrocket to all time high. And uh, I apologize. I'm not saying this about everyone, but there are, uh, you know, a few people out there that think, you know, prices are just going to go straight up in one line. And I promise you that is not going to happen. But uh, if you're looking at it from a realistic standpoint, you know, XRP is holding really, really good, sitting above $1.07, down 5.2% in USD and about 4.8% in Bitcoin compared. Market cap holding really strong around $60.7 billion and the 24 hour trading volume at about $13.7 billion. And you know, I've started to see a lot of people in the community saying that, you know, XRP could actually make its way up to the top two. Yes, some people in the community are actually predicting that XRP could overtake Ethereum spot, especially if the lawsuit comes to an end. And of course, if an ETF comes, big money starts flowing in. Um, and of course, you know, the infrastructure of for, you know, XRP starts expanding to the likes of, um, you know, where people think the potential really lies. Who knows, right? The developments that are coming out recently, you know, XRP a ledger, you know, let's actually only think about the XRP a ledger. When you think about the potential that the XRP a ledger has, it just makes me really think, wow. Uh, because tokenization is being discussed more than ever uh, in the history of cryptocurrencies. And, you know, these big asset managers su such as BlackRock are seeing the potential of tokenized, um, you know, financial assets. And, you know, this is where the XRP ledger uh, comes into play. Uh, so imagine an integration. That just says everything you need to know. But again, obviously speculation at the end of the day. But let's start off uh, with this. At the Bitcoin conference, our good old, um, you know, Donald Trump uh, you know, said this. Bitcoin and crypto, here this up, Bitcoin and crypto will skyrocket like never before, even beyond your expectations. And now, kind of, let's, let's kind of backtrack a little bit. So if he's saying and crypto, I'm sure, I'm positive, the coins or the companies, crypto companies that are based out in the US are going to take, take a huge chunk of this momentum. And um, does that ring a bell? Ripple? And what's Ripple been trying to do over the course of the last um, you know, few years? Especially with the RLUSD launch. A lot of people talk about RLUSD is not out yet. What's going on? They want the regulatory approval. They want it to be compliant. And those are the type of projects, in my opinion, will thrive once regulation comes into play. And this is where the super cycle conversation really lies, right? Um, because if regulation comes towards crypto, I don't think the entire crypto industry uh, will be uh, not the same anymore. I still think, uh, you know, some things, you know, just cannot be controlled. Of course, that's again, in my personal opinion. 
But I think a lot of different projects, uh, you know, the explosive moves that we see for multiple different assets will be uh, not there anymore. So I think this could be a super cycle in that specific case. But after that, which coins will thrive? The ones that are, uh, I, th I personally think the US based ones, the ones that are regulatory compliant, uh, the ones that, um, you know, focus on compliance uh, and, you know, know the importance of that. And these are things that a lot of people are not, uh, you know, realizing. And you could see, Cryptocurrency recorded more than $6 billion inflows this week, uh, marking the largest weekly inflow in history. And a lot of people are going to be surprised at that. But what I want you guys to understand is this. You're seeing major big money that you never expected or never seen in the crypto markets coming into crypto right now. And what does that tell you? That tells you this market is about to go crazy like we have never seen before. And we've already seen a little bit of a hint of that over the last one to two weeks, almost two weeks, obviously, this coming Wednesday. Uh, but yeah, let's take a look at further what's happening. So, you know, speaking about RLUSD, Ripple and the Digital Chamber handed the stablecoin report uh, to the Federal Reserve as well as leaders of um, Capitol Hill in both the House and the Senate. Overall, we got, um, you know, just a consensus agreement. And that is really interesting to see. And again, what are they trying to do? They want, uh, you know, the RLUS to launch, but they want the approval. They want the compliance approval. They want the, uh, they want it to be regulated. Because when it's regulated, we're seeing a complete shift happening in terms of like, you know, uh, the non-regulated uh, coins that are just being delisted, such as stable coins specifically, right? And uh, when it comes to big organizations and companies, they want a regulated stable coin they're going to be using, not something that just unregulated you don't even know if the reserves exist and this is where RLUSD can come and take a huge market share of that as well shout out to our good old friend smoke uh, look at this what he posted cryptocurrencies with actual use case like xrp the only thought that goes through my mind when new tokens are mentioned or suggested are um, as having a future in the new system what is the use case very few coins are mentioned and the highest levels of relevance like xrp and you know when the xrp's price was seeing a major pullbacks you know a lot of sideways momentum uh, who were the people that were picking? Because obviously the people that see a potential. And, you know, I've always said this. I've always emphasized so much on this. And I've emphasized heavily on this. You know, the best way to look at if a project is, you know, legitimately trying is... In a bull market, every single project is going to come out and you know, they're developing, they're bringing up bullish news uh, because they know the market is heated. They want to uh, gain that exposure. But when the bear market comes, when there's absolutely and no price action, complete uncertainty. The projects that are developing that are actually, you know, deal, you know, are delivering on the roadmap and what they were initially tended to do are doing are the ones that you need to be focusing on. And XRP, or I'm sorry, Ripple has been one of them without a doubt. Uh, there's no doubts in that. There's absolutely no doubts. And I've emphasized this on my channel so much. And um, here we are. And like I said earlier, the people that really are the winners in my eyes are the ones that picked up, uh, you know, XRP below this key resistance at 58 cents. So below this, you know, when you were reaching the likes of 46 cents or the likes of even, uh, you know, 37 cents this year, the people that were picking up XRP at that price point are the real winners in my opinion. But now let's take a look at the price because I've been hearing, you know, why is the price of XRP falling? Are we serious at this point? XRP sitting at none other than the 61.8 Fibonacci retracement level on its way to get into the 0.50 Fib zone. And we retested that key resistance, which I've uh, talked about, like, uh, you know, I know I sound like a broken record at this point, at $1.25.7. Uh, but, you know, that, re that re rejection was not a major surprise to me on the channel, as we discussed earlier. Uh, but yeah, if I were to show you guys on the hourly time, and this is absolutely a thing of beauty. Retesting its all-time, I'm sorry, not all-time, we wish it was an all-time high, but, um, you know, a yearly high after almost three years. Um, and you can see we saw a rejection, but look where the price is bouncing. Look where the price is bouncing. 61.8 Fibonacci retracement level. Exactly what you want to be seeing XRP doing, believe it or not. Uh, you, you cannot be forgetting that Bitcoin has seen a little bit of a minor pullback. Remember, it's Sunday. On Sundays, we do tend to see more manipulation than usual. Um, that is a little bit of a factor, um, what has caused a little bit of, uh, you know, consolidation occurring. Uh, but what we need to also, uh, you know, remember is XRP retested a significant level where traders are going to lock in profits. 
Um, and that is something that a lot of people forget, but we don't want to be forgetting on this channel. But I'm very optimistic in these upcoming you know, weeks and months ahead of us. And I think XRP is about to thrive, especially when we break out of this key resistance. I think we can actually start seeing XRP even this year, before the year even comes to an end, start retesting some of the likes of 2021 all uh, yearly highs, sorry, not all time highs. And uh, imagine what can happen after that. But let me know down below what you guys think. At the end of the day, this is my own personal opinion. Love each and every one of you guys. Thank you for your support. We'll see you tomorrow in CryptoZX and peace out.